Hi. Hi, friends. I'm wearing sweatpants because it's kind of cold and I got a robe on. I hope everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video, we're gonna be talking about some patterns for spring because it's practically spring. Or is it spring? It's already spring. Yeah, no, it's, it's already spring. So we're in the spring mindset now. And I've been making a lot of pieces lately and I just found way too many patterns that I wanna make. So I wanna share them all with you guys, the patterns that I'm super digging. for springtime. And a lot of them are free, and a lot of them are paid. So there's something for everyone. Okay, let's begin. I'm gonna sit over here so you guys can see the pictures. So to start off, we're gonna start off with some sewing patterns. And the first one I have here is a pattern I personally have already made, and it is a free one. It is this skirt pattern here. It's the vintage style skirt, and it's by Peppermint Magazine. I made it in my last video when I created a new wardrobe in four days. Do you want to go watch me make this skirt? It's in, it's in that video. But overall, I really was impressed with this pattern, especially because it was free. It comes with a PDF of all the instructions, and the instructions have like amazing diagrams of how to do each piece, so I was never confused. It was really simple. It's a great fit. I just like, I loved it, and I recommend it. The next pattern is a jacket, and I have also made this one. This one is from Etsy, and it's from All Well, and it is this hacking coat pattern that is incredibly easy to make. I ended up making it with a quilt. I'll go get it for you guys. Ta-da! So here's the jacket I made with the pattern, and it was just so easy where you're pretty much just cutting out the jacket and putting bias tape, but there's a few different ways you can make the jacket with pockets, and it tells you how to like it longer, shorter, just overall, there's like 10 billion different ways you can make a jacket with this pattern. This is just the one way I made it with my quilt, but again, great pattern. So the next pattern is another multi pattern to patterner, and it is the Pomona pants and shorts pattern. This is one I have had my eye on and have not made yet, but it just looks so comfy. The pants look comfy, the shorts look comfy, and I just have de de dedicated, dedicated, dedicated my life to only wearing comfy clothes. Therefore, I will only make comfy clothes and these ones look real, real comfy, so they're on my spring list. So the last pattern I just showed you, it was a paid pant pattern. But this pant pattern I'm gonna show you is a free pant pattern. And this pant pattern, why is that so funny? Is by Mood Fabric and it's their Linda Pants. And it's actually a new one that just came out so I have not tried this one yet, but again, just freshly put onto my list of things I wanna make, try it out because why not try out a free pant pattern? And honestly, they look really straightforward. Again, comfy, comfy. You know, I'm only gonna show you guys comfy things. So, comfy pair of pants. This one I have actually made. And I can show you guys some examples of the shirts I made. And it is this one. It's the cap sleeve pattern by Kiana, my friend here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. But I have not tried her patterns, or I didn't try her. I didn't, I hadn't used her patterns up until last week when I made them and they rock. They'll rock your socks off. So we're just gonna take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Pila. If you haven't heard of Pila, Pila is this amazing brand here in Canada, company, and they make biodegradable phone cases. All of these and way more amazing designs on there. It's super amazing that these are actually made from plants. So when you upgrade your new phone and you don't need your phone case anymore, you can just actually put this in your compost. All of their phone cases are super soft to touch and they also have a military grade drop protection. Also my favorite thing is when you receive your Pila case, it comes in 100% recyclable packaging and there's no plastic whatsoever. So if you guys wanna get your own biodegradable Pila case, I have a coupon code for you all. Use the code Jenna at checkout and the first 50 people will get 40% off. Everyone after that will get 20% off. Just be sure to use my link down below in the description. But I ended up making two shirts with this pattern just because they're so easy to make. They're like super 
quick and snappy. Like I made both of these in 30 minutes. And they're just like a nice knitwear pattern so you guys can use any stretchy material for this pattern and it's comfy. And for the last sewing pattern, this is one I have not made, but it is my dream to make it. I just need to build up the confidence to make this one just because it is a little intimidating or it looks intimidating. It might not be because it is by This Is Cashy. It is her squirt pattern here. And just look at this pattern. Just, this is all, look right here, look at the pattern, stare at it for a second. She's so pretty. So now we can get into some knitting patterns. So the first one I have right here is the wavy crop top here. And it is by Andy Knit Shop on Etsy. And it's been one that I've had in my favorites for a long time, but I was like just waiting. I was like, wait till it's warmer because if I make it now, I can't enjoy it. So I was gonna wait till spring, summer. So now that it's officially spring, she's on my list. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but all of the patterns will be linked down below if you guys want to go and purchase any of them and also have the free ones, but everything will be linked down below that I mentioned today, like always. Okay, cool. So for this next one, I have already made it. I am so excited that I actually have a whole bunch of patterns with the actual end product piece of clothing here to show you guys, just because in the past I've just showed you patterns that I am like obsessed with, but I have been, you know, working. I have made it already. It came out just a few days or maybe a week ago. And I just, I just, I couldn't wait. So immediately when it came out, I bought the pattern. I ran to the yarn store, got the yarn and made it in like one day. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I was, I'm very enthusiastic about this pattern. And it is the pop top right here. Oh my goodness, isn't it so amazing? Let, okay, I can't even just talk about it. I just gotta show you guys mine. One sec, I have a thread popping out. Okay, one more, one more. I got a lot of threads just dangling around. Ta-da! Here is my shirt of the pop top and I did it in green with a nice blue crochet accent. So this one is a knitting one, but you do a little bit of crochet accent. It's really easy, just a single crochet stitch, which you can learn easy if you've never crocheted. But it's, it's so amazing. I love this one. I did have to alter it just a bit and add length in the straps here just because it wouldn't go over my head when I finished it. Yeah, so I had to add it a little bit, so you might have to if you decide to make this pop top, but I used some cotton yarn so it's nice and not hot for the summer. And I almost forgot to mention that that pattern, the pop top, is by Josephine Dyring, and the next pattern I'm going to show you is also by Josephine Dyring, and it is Love on Top Knitting Top, Love on Top. That's what it's called, but is this really cool tank again, except it has some, what is this called? Oh, it was, it was on the tip of my tongue there. What? Oh no, I lost it. Oh, cables. It has a lot of cables on it, which personally I have never done cable knitting. So I might attempt with this one right here because I kind of want to try cables out. Um, I don't think they're that difficult. I just haven't experimented with them. But also with this one, Love on Top, there is a matching skirt. So the skirt you see here is also on her website if you wanna make the whole set. I just didn't include it in this 15 pattern. So there's a bonus number 16 pattern for you guys. You guys can get the matching skirt. For the next top, we have this one, Made You Fall top right here. This one has a whole bunch of variations to this top. I believe you can make a dress and a blouse and a shirt in this one. There's a few different patterns, but the main generalness structure is the same. So speaking of dresses, I do have one more dress pattern to show you guys, and it is another itty bitty needler because it's summer, spring. It is the crossed summer dress right here, and she's just Stunning, she's so pretty. Like I can see myself wearing this in the summertime, in the springtime with a nice little jacket over it, you know, multiple seasons. We love pieces of clothes that can be wor worn, worn for multiple seasons. And now for the last knitting pattern, which this one is really cool. This one is another one I found on Instagram and it is the souffle pattern. Did I say that right, souffle? 
And this one, I've seen that it comes in a long sleeve or a short sleeve. Again, I would definitely do the short sleeve because I do not have the patience to actually do two long sleeves. That's the one thing about sleeves when you're making, you know, individual pieces for clothing. Like, why do we need two arms? It's so much more work to do two arms. So for the crochet patterns, they are all free, double O free. So the first one is by Drops and it is their Snack Shack. Sack. 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 Snack sack. Why is that so hard to say? But it's a simple, nice bag. You can either take to the grocery store, even use it as your purse, or go thrifting. And it's by Drops. So if you guys don't know what Drops or haven't heard of them, it is a yarn brand. And on their website, they have thousands of free patterns. So if you guys want to see more free patterns by them, you can check out the website where this pattern is linked and check out just like the rabbit hole patterns on there. So next one is by Drops once again, and it is a bucket hat pattern. It is this one, the Garden Girl bucket hat pattern. And I haven't tried this one, which I am wanting to try because I want to make some just basic bucket hats for spring and summer. Just maybe like a plain white one or a plain green one because that's my favorite color. Blue, red, orange, or you could even do stripes. Like you really could do whatever. Okay. So for our last pattern of the video, but it is the Red Heart Granny Square Cardigan and I have been dreaming of having a Granny Square Cardigan for like my entire life and I have never found one at the thrift store and I have never made one. But it's been on my list for a while to make one of these but I again, I don't know if I have the patience for it just because it's just very intimidating to have to sew all of those patches together like that's just oh gosh that's a lot of work that's that's a lot of work but I know it'll be worth it I just know it'll be worth it so I have her on my list for spring summer and forever and I really want to make her but <laughs> yeah I hope I gave you guys some ideas for some patterns. If you guys make any of these patterns, let us know down below in the comments what you thought about them, which one's your favorite, or which one you are going to be making, or any that you're gonna put on your list to make. Just let us know down, down below. Well, I'm gonna go. It is lunchtime, so I'm gonna go eat. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in my next video.